I see most of my students are more curious about the food that they're cooking than, than just cooking. Chefs want a much deeper understanding of the medium they're working with. And understanding how these little molecules are banging into each other and causing energy to go from one molecule to another has to kind of excite a person. All of a sudden they're like, well I got the concept, I understand the cooking, and now putting those two together, it, they, it, it's like fireworks going off sometimes. The culinary science program here at the college, it's a blending of the culinary arts and food sciences. Traditionally, these two realms have been separate. We've come to realize that as the food world's changing, those two spaces are blurring and overlapping. Really what companies are looking for is people who can wear two hats. We're having to use our skills that we learned in culinary school, taking the science that we know that's out there today, and really bringing those together to bring products that are still full of flavor and still bring great nutrition. It's learning how to utilize ingredients based on their functionalities, not just based on their tastes. And ultimately create a unique sensory experience for our customer. And again, whether it's in a small environment or a large environment or in a corporate environment or a research and development environment, you need as many tools as you possibly can in order to be successful. So it is a little tough when we just start talking about atoms and talking about how carbon forms, you know, four bonds and things like that. But then all of a sudden you start talking about the different pans and pots that they've cooked with and why you would use one metal versus another metal or cooking a potato in oil versus air versus water, all of a sudden they, they become tangible. There's something that you can see exactly how this works. Our students will come out of here with a tangible set of skills that they can identify. They've learned about spectrophotometry on a couple different pieces of equipment. And we have 21 controlled vapor technology units. Our texture analyzer. We've got a colorimeter, we've got rheometers. They use centrifuges. Sonic homogenizers. They'll use the rotary evaporator, which is right over here. They are working with real food systems, real recipes, so for example, they may be looking at risotto and the process with which it's made, a traditional recipe. But they're thinking about how the starch granules are gelatinizing. They're thinking about how water is being taken up. How could we optimize the textural attributes of this? They actually often say, wow, we just really science that up. So if I had a culinary science degree and I was looking to get out in the industry today, there's a, quite a few places. You could start with the very large food manufacturing companies. Product development or food technologist. You can be an R&D person for multiple different fields. You can be an R&D person for a restaurant, a large manufacturer, a small bakery, a small restaurant. Um, you could go into food writing. You could go into um, sourcing ingredients for larger companies. So there's really quite a range of places our students will find themselves. I think as long as you like to think out of the box, and if you ask a lot of questions, I think it's really important to kind of, you know, delve into your interest, see what your curiosities are and find those answers. And culinary science really allows you to find the why behind food. So if somebody wants to be at the cutting edge of this industry, culinary science is definitely a path to get there.